this film called? Passion Nova. Mm. I hope it goes all right. Of course it'll go all right. I haven't had a thing since I came out of the hospital, you know. Now stop worrying. You're young and beautiful, and I'm sure you're talented. <sighs> uh, well, would you mind if I come on the set? I've never seen a film being done. Oh, sure. It's not much of a part, just a couple of scenes. Your chance will come. Yeah. It always does. My chance? I've had it hundreds of times. Four years of bit parts and casting offices. It never changes. Has your boss finally moved into that villa? Yes, he's been living there for weeks. Do you see him a lot? Every day. What exactly do you do for him? For Franklin? Mm -hmm. I run his business. Oh. Sometimes I think it's me who makes the money and he who spends it. I know it's not my business, Miss Carson, but I can't help wondering what happened between you two. Ah, usual story. 
Met him in London, and then again when he started coming to Rome. Oh, it was you. A lot of hotel bedrooms, rented apartments. It was always in secret. As if he were ashamed of me. I thought I was in love with him, but he has no feelings. Yes, he's a hard man. Cold-blooded. Doesn't love anybody except himself. And his son. He really loves that boy. I was never allowed to meet his son. You know, when I had the accident, he sent me a bunch of red roses. But there was no name on it. Well, he never wrote. He never even called. Miss Carson, I'm old enough to be your father, so I don't have any, uh... But I was very sorry about what happened to you. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. I sent you the roses. Anne, they're waiting for you on the set. Oh, Stuart Chase, Mr. Henderson. I'm an old fan of yours, Mr. Chase. I've, I've never forgotten that one called Bandit's Holiday. <laughs> As we say, those were the days. And you better hurry, they want to change your scene. Can I offer you a drink? Yeah, I've got time for a quick one. Lottie, come and meet one of my fans. This is my other half. Lottie, Mr. Henderson. Charmed. Please. That was the picture where we met. No. <laughs> How nice. Yeah. chose you for? Your brains? I can't do this stupid film. Anne! I won't! Damn you! Anne! Come here! Leave me alone! Anne! Leave me alone! Don't be a fool. Don't blow it now! God, what a bunch of shit. What happened? They sacked me. Oh, how did it happen? Because they're bastards, that's how. It's from home. God, I can't even pay the rent. We borrowed somehow, like we did the last time. <sighs> Who from? You've got that actor friend. Stuart? <sighs> he hasn't got a cent. What about that man who came to pick you up? The man from the accident? Uh, no, no. I hardly know him. Who is he? Oh, he works for someone I used to see. He's the only man who's ever been kind to me without... Wanting something in return. Money, money. I'm fed up with depending on men for money. 
I prefer babysitting like you if I have to. Don't be a fool. You can't do this. Oh, shit. What's the use? What's the problem? You've been naked before. Now, look, you can't do this to me. I got you this part. They'll blame me. You blow this one and you're finished. You'll be right back where you started. Right back where I started? Sorry. I'll talk to someone and see what I can do. I'm terribly sorry, Miss Carson. Terribly. I'm sure Franklin doesn't know. He'll pay for this. He'll pay through the nose. Now, don't say these things. Don't talk like that. My father. So he loves you. No need to look so guilty. At least you got a father. But he can't afford it. There are two kinds of money. The kind I make. Or don't. And the kind your father sends you. Yours is better. Keeps you warm. Do you think I could sell my fur coat? Of course. It must be worth the fortune. <sighs> That's what you think. <sighs> I should have chosen black. It must be worth something. Something. That's about all it's worth. You never stop working, do you? Come on, honey.
She's ill. She's ill? What's the matter with her? Don't worry. May we send you another girl? Yes, of course you can send another girl this time. Boots, how often do I have to tell you to keep that thing out of here? Hello? I'm sorry. Her name is Michelle Johnson. Yes. But please make sure she comes on time. Of course. It's like in Bologna. I couldn't stand it any longer. Two months. Two months. You don't know how much I missed you. And you're just in time. You really got back just in time. We've got to finish our masterpiece. They want to throw it out. Our baby? Not on your life. Telephone. 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 Don't forget, Michelle, you still owe me a dinner. You stood me up on my final night in town. But it wasn't my fault. I had the accident. Hello? Hey, don't work tonight. Yes? This is Michel Janson. Yes? Mm-hmm. Wait. I can't. I'm babysitting. Where is it? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll be there. Thank you. I need the money. So let me help you out. It's a lot of money for me. We're behind on the rent. We? Who's we? Anne. We didn't meet her yet. Ah, the girl who was in the accident. Hey, but we didn't see each other for two whole months. Yes, but... Another guy? You win. At uh, Luigi's, 12 o'clock? Promise, huh? Promise. And this time I swear. Every time that you make an appointment with me, something always seems to come up somehow. Hey, come on, take my keys. Jenny. Do you love me? Yes. All right, take my keys then. But you might need them. You won't stand me up now. Of course I won't. Oh, you change your style. I got paid a lot. I like him. He's very... Uh, well... For the fair. They're opening a restaurant with him on Monday. Santa Madonna, you finally came. Scusi. But what happened? Uh, she went out, Signorina Giovanni. I visited. No sir. Mr. Franklin is not here. He already have supper. He go sleep at nine o'clock. Understand? I'll be home. House in the garden. 
If you want to eat, stove is there and food in fridge. What's your name? Boots. Is that a good film? No, it's dumb. They're always killing. When will you finally take me into your family? Who do you think you are? I thought we settled all that before. There'll never be any room for you and my family. And stay away from my son, do you hear? Would you like something to drink? Something hot? Did she say the stove was down there? Yes, at the end of the corridor. I made you some hot chocolate. Thank you. Why do you wear a wig? <laughs> no reason. Just for fun. You better drink it before it gets too cold. I don't like chocolate. Please, drink it. Please. I don't like chocolate. Drink it. No.
Yes, speaking? This is Mrs. Verna. I just wanted to know that you'd arrived. Is everything all right? Yes, uh, I think so. I just came in. Well, I only wanted to be sure. I'm sorry I couldn't wait. That's all right. But uh, I've got an appointment at 12 o'clock. Will you be back before? Yes, yes, of course. And please help yourself to anything you need. Thank you. I'm sorry about the phone, by the way. It's almost impossible to get a line out at the moment. It doesn't matter. I don't need it. Thank you, Miss Johnson. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes? Thank God I could reach you. Something terrible has happened. We've had an accident. I'm calling you from the hospital. How awful. I hope you're not hurt. My husband, well, he, he's still unconscious. Oh, that's terrible. I'm very sorry. Is Peter all right? Yes, he's fine. He's fast asleep. Do you think you could stay until morning? It's a bit of trouble. I'll pay you double the normal rate. That's not that. I had this appointment. You can't leave the boy alone. Well, I understand, Mrs. Werner, but... Please. I just have to explain. I... Oh, thank you. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Mrs. Werner. Peter wakes up. Please, don't tell him about this. He's such a nervous child. I'll call you first thing in the morning. I understand, Mrs. Werner, but... Don't tell him.
me a nice fake, please. Yes. Photographer, will you take my picture? Sure, why not? With the fig and the table and everything. Okay. Mille lire. Eight hundred. Mille. Good morning. Good night. Where's Michelle? How should I know? I found these here when I arrived. Why didn't she come back? Excuse me, who are you? Uh, my name is Johnny, your fiancé. Engaged? Almost. I see. Uh, where is she? Disappeared? I've got my own problems. Leave me alone. Please, tell me where she is! Dom! I can't! She's got my keys! She's not here! Please! Please! Let me in! Finally decided to wake up? I'm Michelle. Your mother asked me to look after you. I don't have a mother. Of course you have a mother. Mm -mm. All children have mothers. You've kidnapped me, haven't you? Of course, just for a few hours. Until your parents get back. Want some? You're gonna kill me, aren't what you? What are you talking about? I'm not going to hurt you. It's all right, really.
something to eat? I'll be in the kitchen. Is this the missing person's office? Yes, but I haven't seen anybody in there for weeks. Come back Thursday. That's a scandal. It's not the only one around here. I'll put you in jail. Who will? My father. Who's your father? My father will hire all the policemen in Rome to get you. Get me for what? For keeping me here. I'm not keeping you here. Then why did you lock the front door? Is this your house? It's yours, isn't it? My father's got a helicopter and he can land on the roof and get you. When? When he's ready. I said you shut up and listen to me, you stupid little bitch. 
If you try to get out of that house again, or if I hear any more noise out of you or that kid, I'm gonna come in there and rip your face apart. You got that? I'm gonna cut your face to pieces. But why am I in here? Why? You were fast asleep when I arrived. You came to my house. You had a wig. I never had a wig in my life. She forced me to drink the chocolate. She? Who is she? So it wasn't me then. Huh? Perhaps. Uh, I don't know uh, what she had on. Uh, sometimes she wore a bright red coat or maybe a jacket. She has beautiful brown hair. That's right. You say she has a birthmark on she her left really cheek. She's really the most beautiful girl in the world. Left cheek. And she did not have dinner with you last night. Exactly. And she failed to appear at her home this morning. Precisely. My yes, girl... because she was babysitting in some house Because she had to go and take care of some lousy right? baby last night instead of going out to dinner with me. Shouldn't she like me better than her babies? Put it on the bill. Yes. Here's a picture I took of her. She's very charming. Charming. Take a look at these hair. They're all missing. Tall, short, blonde, brunette. They're all missing in Rome. I don't care how many are missing in Rome. I only want Michelle. She must be missing for at least two weeks uh, before we can even consider taking on her case. What do you mean, two weeks? She's got my keys. Uh, what keys? The keys to my own apartment. Oh, I thought you lived alone. I do. Then she has your keys. Yeah, she has my keys. Then it's quite possible she might have spent a night with another kind of baby. What are you saying? Maybe he just might have worn a mustache. What mustache? A virile boy. About... 22 years. 22 years?
22 years. You can let it go for now, Francesca. Yes, hey, why don't you come out? You must be cold in there. Are they gonna kill us? Of course not. Don't be afraid. They won't kill us if we do what they tell us. I'm not lying, but I've never been to your house. I don't even know where it is. What do you do? I make statues. What does your father do? He's a mechanic. He lives in Senegal. That's a country in Africa. That's where I grew up. What about your father? He sells food. Is he very rich? Yes, he's got a bank and lots of stores. Mine isn't. Cost him a lot of money for me to live in Rome. Why do you live in Rome? Well, I didn't always, but when I came to Europe, I went to Paris to study. They'd be too big, huh? Then I loved someone very much there. But it didn't work out, so I came here to be alone. Understand? Of course I understand. Come on. Maybe this could be the baby that we've been talking about. What baby? That one. He disappeared last night. He disappeared? With the babysitter. With the babysitter? A foreign girl. The cook let her in and said she was charming. Uh, about 22. With brown eyes and a beauty mark. But, of course, the mark was charming. They are asking for two million dollars. Uh, by the way, you mentioned an address, didn't you? Yeah, I gave it to you already. But, uh, my cleaning lady... Uh, 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 Piazza Santa Egidio, 81. Got it? Got it. Oh, where is the telephone? Who's Franklin? The telephone. In the corridor. Police, this is Commissioner Toriasti of the uh, missing persons office. Who's handling the Franklin kidnapping? Inspector Carrara. Is it possible to have a word with him? Inspector Carrara? This is Commissioner Trieste. We have a lead on the babysitter. Yes. Police. Inspector Carrara. We're looking for Michelle Jensen. Michelle? Has something happened to her? We've got a warrant for her arrest. Why? What for? She was babysitting last night at the house of Cyrus Franklin. The boy has been kidnapped. Does she often disappear like this? I mean, without telling anyone? No. Michelle's never get mixed up in a thing like this. How do you know? I just know. I've lived with her for two months. That's not very long. When you've seen as much as I have, you'll realize that almost mm -hmm. anyone is capable of almost anything. No. Not Michelle. You? Yeah. Then where is she? Maybe she found a boyfriend. 
I know she's innocent. May I? Sure. Besides, it doesn't fit a description. Michelle has brown hair, not black. Anyone can put on a wig. Who's the boy, anyway? The son of Cyrus Franklin, the food mogul. You know the supermarket. Yep. Best food in town, the lowest prices. Between you and me, he's quite a bastard. Got everything? Yes, Inspector. Do you have many friends in Rome, Miss Carson? Mm -mm. Would you like to have dinner with me one evening? What the cost of eggs is today? Four hundred lira for six. Incredible the way the price of everything is going up. Except yours, my dear. You better see if it fits. By the way, the agency called something about a western in Calabria. Why don't you tell them to shove it up their ass? Tell that to your fans. I'd rather puke than ride into another sunset. Did you bring the money? It's all there. Two million dollars. Use notes? Yes. Just as they told us in the letter. What about the police? They've agreed to everything. You're sure they won't follow you? I made it absolutely clear I want to be left alone. Have they got a suspect? I don't know. There is some French girl they're talking about. All I want is the boy. If anything happens to Boots, I'll search for the bastards for the rest of my life. What is it? I'm sorry, Mr. Franklin. It's about the takeover of international foods. New York needs a decision. Christ, do I have to do everything myself? 
Anderson, could you settle this one for me? It's already underway, Mr. Franklin. I also terminated with BFC. By the way, your wife called me last night. First time she's shown any interest in the boy. What's happening? Nothing. Perhaps he doesn't like sausages. Take him, quick. His name is Bonzo. Bring him over here. Let's hope the old lady understands. Put down the phone. Put down the phone, huh? What do you want? Help! 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 Help!
didn't have to kill her. If you had done your job right, the dog wouldn't have gotten into the villa. So I killed her. What do you expect me to do? Wait for the police to get here? Okay, okay. Okay, nothing. What I'm saying is that you and your husband better get it on with Franklin. Of course, I'm not going to wait here. Oh, yes, you will. You've got your head in the noose, and now you've got to go through with it. take the police to get here? I don't know. I'm not sure they'll come. Of course they'll come. The old lady waved to us. I'm starving. Yes? Let's go to the kitchen. Being brave? I'm hungry. Shall I turn the light on? No. No, no, better not. I'm exhausted. I want to sleep now. Give me my keys. What are you doing here? You looking for someone? The door, the doorbell doesn't work. Hey, nothing works, pal. Nothing. How'd you get in here? Get in, get out. It's not important. Everything's finished here. It's uh, the end of the world. Uh, windows open. Everything's dead here, even the plants. There's nobody here now. Yeah, you know, that's the trouble everywhere, you know, and no one cares about people anymore. Tell me, please, why is my salad tasting more bitter every day? Doesn't that worry you? Huh? Disappeared. Disappeared. Everything disappears. And why do Swedish chickens have two heads, huh? Don't you think that's strange? And whose fault do you think it is? It's the fault of the ultraviolet light. The radioactive mozzarella! voice down. I never agreed to kill anybody. Nobody was going to get hurt. I told him not to trust that stupid stunt man. I did three pictures with him. So what? 
You can't even control that guy. Control? I told you to shut up. Why the hell did you have to tell her about the old woman? You can't keep your trap shut, can you? I'm not going any further. I've had enough. Now it's murder. It's murder. Where the hell do you think you're going? Ah! Now sit down. Ah! I'm not staying here. You're going all the way, just like the rest of us. But if we get caught... We're not getting caught. Oh. Listen, damn it. No one is looking for you. They're looking for Michelle, and they don't know where she is. Now all we need is a few more hours. What's going to happen to Michelle? Michelle is going to do just what we tell her to. She's going to call Franklin to pick up the money. That's all we need her for. But you said everything would be all right for her. Now there's been a murder. What's going to happen to her? You shut up about Michelle. It's us I'm thinking about. It's going to work out just like I planned it from the start. You planned it, huh? He did, didn't he? Yeah. The Long Ranger. You used me. And you agreed to it. And you weren't against taking any money, either. I'm going to make him pay through the nose, you said. Well, now he's paying. How, how do you know I said that? Yes. I found where Michelle is. Where? In a villa on Via del Magnolia. How, how do you know? Well, I saw her there. I'm a friend of Michelle's also. I saw her there. What do you mean? You saw her? I saw a red coat through the window. Could have belonged to anyone. Well, because it's the only one in the world. Were you alone? Yeah. Lottie, close the door. Did you ring the bell? Sure, but there was no response to there at all. Then you could have made a mistake. Stuart, I'm afraid I have to go. I hope you find your friend. Yeah, well, I'm going to the police. Let's, uh, think this out. Carefully. But it was Michelle. I know it was. And do you have a tranquilizer? No, no. No, I don't use drugs. Well, suppose you're right. Why didn't she answer the door? Yeah, why didn't she? Because she's a prisoner. Or perhaps it wasn't her coat. Someone was there in the house with her. The police think she did the kidnapping herself. They came and grabbed all the things. I know that she didn't do it. Whoever took the boy took her as well. Just a minute, you say she went to babysit last night on the Via... Via della Magnolia. Right. And you say that she's still there now? Of course. Yeah, well, that doesn't make sense. You see, the boy was kidnapped from his father's house, which is on the other side of town. Okay, then. What was that van doing there? What van, uh... Listen, before we go to the police, why don't we all go down there and take another look, okay? Good. Come on. I'm sure you want to come along too, won't you, Anne?
Hello. Miss Johnson. And who are you? Do exactly what we tell you. Take the boy to the garage. You'll find a blue Fiat. The key is in the ignition. Leave the villa and follow the instructions of the motorcyclist who will be behind you. You've got five minutes. I don't know how to drive. I know all about you, so don't waste my time. That damn boyfriend of yours has messed things up enough already. Oh, stop it, you fool! Look, you do what we tell you, we're gonna kill that kid. What do we do? I saw her through that window in the back. It all looks pretty normal to me. It's not normal. It's too peaceful here. What's that van still doing there? It's TTI, a repair van, telephone company. Since when do the Romans repair telephones at 8 o'clock at night? I'll go see if there's someone there. Wait a minute. Suppose you're right. Could be risky. Of course I'm right. What next? Look, I'll call the police. You're quite sure. You really thought it all through. It's the only solution. And what are you going to tell them? Yeah, you're right. I'll go in person. All right. I'll take you there. You stay here. After all, she is your friend. You can tell us if you see anyone leave the house. Okay. Wait a second, Ann. Don't let them see you. It could be very dangerous. You are really a cold-blooded man, aren't you, Mr. Henderson? I'm a realist. The way you used Anne. That girl was a loser from the start. She needs someone to look after her. You. Ever make a mistake? Why should I? <sighs> Mind if I wait in your car? Go ahead, make yourself comfortable. Thank you. <laughs> He's in for a bit of a surprise if he thinks Anne's going to talk to him again. What do you mean? Nothing. That's his whole game. Nobody knows anything except you and me. I know. So what do you mean? Nothing I said.
see you at the sand pit in half an hour. Why don't you come with us? I don't want that motorcyclist of yours to see me. That's right, you don't make any mistakes. the girl. The dead rest in peace. Listen, that's up to you. Yes, it is. Get rid of the bike, pick up the Maserati, get Anne from her place and bring her with you. What if I run into the girl? She'll recognize me. The girl's dead, don't worry. You better shut her up or I will. Why don't you cool it, both of you? Take care of your end. I just want to be sure, that's all. This road is a dead end, it's sure. It better be. Yes.
it's here. Well, I think you can make it on your own. I won't come in. Come on. Your father's waiting for you. I'll see you soon. They've got the money. Did the police stay out of it? Yes. But I haven't heard anything from anyone. Nothing. I have done everything I could. Everything. I never knew that I could be hurt so bad.
already called the police. That just leaves you and me, huh? Un gettone, prego. Il telefono sta là. of suicide. Yes. At Piazza Santo Gidio, 80, on the first floor. Yes. 